Hey there, I just wanna go over our next exercise, which is our seated hip flexion exercise, which is uh, by far one of the most innocent looking exercises, but is definitely one of the hardest for us to be able to do. So what we're going to do is we can either do this on the ground or do this on a solid surface. I don't wanna, I don't think this is a good one to do on the bed. So if you can, go ahead and sit down on the ground um, or up on a table. And sometimes I always like to start off by having somebody sit up against the wall in case they do need to lean back the whole goal of this is to not be leaning back. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend one leg up as far as we feel like we can. Now, as I do that, it's gonna force my back to want to flex or round. So we need to really try to figure out how to bend this knee up, but also keep a good upright posture. So to start off with, I'll normally have people hold on to this knee to help with that. We'll talk about it here in a second, but afterwards, we're gonna try to just lift this leg up as high as we can while keeping a good tall posture. What I don't wanna see is as you're lifting, you start to round, try to compensate this movement by doing that, okay? So the ultimate goal with this exercise is to do this without holding on and being able to stay upright, nice and tall, and not trying to compensate by doing that motion. We're gonna feel some pretty intense muscle contraction in through our upper hip. I think this is really important exercise for people to be able to do and master, especially if you're looking at squatting or deadlifting or doing any activities that require some good hip flexion strength, but also lumbar stability exercises. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a comment uh, below and we'll get back to you or give us a call and we'll help you out however we can.